In this video lecture, I'm going to discuss what, how to use null or empty string in Microsoft SQL Server. So let's see the queries. So first here, going to write or uh, select a statement, select. Then here, a star from. So a star from, then you should give your HR. And giving, uh, selecting the table, this place, location. Uh, so location has uh, or this is you can see this is the location table and it has some or uh, columns a state province has some null values okay so that selected the location table after that let's use the select a statement once again select a star thereafter from hr dot so giving here location and let's use here where clause a state under province thereafter is null or you should give here a state underscore province equal to single code now this is the query to get here point null or empty string inside the Microsoft SQL Server table. So if I execute this query, so now you can uh, see the records. So this is the uh, one second. So now you can see this is the data of uh, HR location table and uh, this is the here you can see this query result of this one so if i execute this one or you can see this one so here you can see a stored province or uh, this rows has the null values so only the null that's uh, returning and you can see the yellow mark is there poster code also has uh, null values so that uh, it's also returning okay so if I give uh, this place poster code, poster code including this place and now if I execute this query, so here this is the poster code, this two conditions are true so that uh, it's uh, returning the output of the null of uh, column state province and poster code. So this is how we can uh, get here null or empty string in Microsoft SQL Server table. So I hope guys this video is so helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.